Alrighty, time for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with me. I'm Mark Zimmerman, visiting artist here at Sanford through the Sanford Arts Program. And I'm about to do an ink transfer drawing. That is uh, ink that I just rolled out on a sheet of plexiglass. I'm going to lay some paper over that ink and draw and rub on the back of that paper. Transferring ink to the front. And then I'll put a little watercolor on it and have an ink transfer drawing. I'm going to draw a posk flower. I've got a photograph of a posk flower. It's a really hot summer day and I'm thinking about cool spring days when the posk flowers bloom. So the ink is inside a rectangle of tape. I can feel that tape. All right. Let's look at this little posk flower. One little petal. Let's see here. Fuzzy a little bit on that petal. Well, I'm drawing petals. I probably should put there some veining, kind of, I suppose, is what that is. Little ribs where and there's a really cool little then this just gets about impossible to really draw it's fuzzy little extra fuzz there too. I don't see the fuzz on that one. What's wrong with him? <laughs> All right, a little veining then here too. Three petals, I have three to go. Let's go for an easy one. Um, So, sort of easy, because it's that fuzzy thing again. Well, I better put this, these in here. I don't really know what this flower part is anymore. Okay, I can draw it without knowing what its name is. One last petal.
that's about it for the Posk flower. Um, there are these little leaves. They have fuzzy tips on them too. And they have fuzzy edges too. I'm going to get back to those. Fuzzy tips I need to draw the first time through. The edge seems to be kind of just off the, off a more solid line. So I get to draw the solid line, come back, and fuzz it up a little bit. Stem is fuzzy too. Stem comes right through here. I think the stem is fuzzy. Actually, when I look at it a little more carefully, I think that fuzz is just the leaves next to it. I'm going to put a shadow on the stem though. Shadow on that and some fuzz. Oh, fuzzy. Pask flower. I can transfer just a little bit of shadow to it if I feel like. I'm trying to think about it whether or not I even want to do that. I can touch it with my finger and create a shadow. I think I am going to do that. I think I'm going to do that right down in here. So a soft shadow with the heel of my hand, side of my hand, a little darker shadow. Alright, let's take a peek. I want to leave most of this alone and come back with paint. That'll work. Wait a minute, let me take one more peek. Let's see again. That'll work. I'm going to get the ink out of here and paint this. When I paint, I think I can work sideways. You can watch it happen right side up. I've got liquid watercolor here and um, I think I'm going to put this on a board too. Just so I can tip it when I want. Okay. See how dark that is? Quite dark. Quite, quite dark. I'm going to take an eyedropper and put a little water in that. Maybe rinse my brush just a touch. 
get rid of some of that pigment that was in the brush. All right. Hmm. And let's see. Give it a little rinse. Let that be really light up in there. There's also just a teeny touch of blue. Especially down toward the bottom. Okay, this one appears to be more blue, so without even rinsing my brush, come back here. You'll notice it's backwards. It's a mirror image of the image I drew. So now I'm having to think about how it looks. So that's darker. This is lighter. Just kind of paint left in my brush. I'm going to take a little bit of blue uh, again this one seems bluer again and it's very light so I probably have enough ooh I just about painted whatever those things are Super light here, and then darker here, darker here, darker here. Okay. Rinse that. I think I'm switching to a smaller brush too. Give some yellow a little stir over here off camera. Trust me, that's what I'm doing. I'm stirring yellow. And come back in here. And Some orange stir. I see some orange on the yellow is kind of orangish in places, especially down in here. There we go. See what this green looks like. It might just be what I'm looking for. Got big cups of paint over to my right, but See how dark this is. It's a little too blue. So what do you do if you got green that's too blue? You add a little yellow. That should do it. So 
So I painted the highlights already. I don't see any shadows on these, so. So I'm not going to paint them if I don't see them. back to that bigger brush. I'm going to stir up some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is an earth tone. It quite literally is dirt. And burnt sienna is dirt from Italy, from Siena in Italy. And it's the it's been toasted so it's a little darker. And A little too dark, so I'm going to add a little water. A little more water. And I'm tipping that board now. That's why I put the board under there. Because I knew I was going to want to do a wash here in the background. I'm just picking up water. I haven't added paint since the first time I dipped it in that sienna. Did I finish the story about where sienna comes from? It's just dirt from Siena, Italy that they toast. There's raw sienna too. It's not quite as reddish. I just keep adding water. Okay, one more dip in the sienna. I, I can get it out of here. I was planning on using a lot of it. I used hardly any of it. Back to the water. More water. Maybe a little more sienna too. Rinse my brush. I always sign them in pencil. If I could find a pencil that would help. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of. Seem to have too much orange. There we go. Happier now. Um, We'll call it Posk Flower on on Sienna. Sign it, Zimmerman, twenty twenty. There it is. Hope you liked it. Hope you had fun watching it. I had fun doing it. Until next time.